<laughs> I don't know what that was. Um, okay, so this is the start of, I guess, maybe a little series. I don't know how I'm going to do this, but I'm going to be recording from beginning to end my process on working on this little guy. His name is Mort. Um, goodness, glaciers. Okay, so the goal is I want to make a little roughly three inch figure of him and the plan is to make a mold produce copies and he will be a little DIY figure for anyone who wants to purchase one and paint them themselves I am gonna do a few that I'll paint myself um, but it'll kind of be like this guy so this is um, a DIY figure from the craftsman who you can also find here on YouTube and on Instagram uh, I adore the craftsman um, he's very inspirational and I essentially is the inspiration for why I want to do my own DIY figure. I did do um, the figure of Gimo uh, a while ago. That video is still up there. I'll just link in somewhere. There's a link somewhere. Look, there's a link. Um, and so Gimo was a character that belongs to Crump. Kramparian, and he is also the wonderful artist that designed Mort for me. So this is Kramp's design um, that I have commissioned him to do for me, and so I'm very excited to work with um, this design because it is exactly what I imagined. I could have designed it myself, but I thought it would be more fun to support another artist um, and turn it into a little bit of a collaboration. But I am rambling and <laughs> um, so this will be what I'd like to do is um, there's obviously gonna be a video at the end once he's finished that will encompass the entire process from beginning to end but very condensed I think I also want to do a series of uh, videos along the way so I will be recording today the start of the process and I might keep most of it, I'll try to keep most of it in real time. Um, I think some people might enjoy that. And then at the end I will just speed everything up into a whole other video that just encompasses everything. But today, um, I'm just getting started. I just printed this out. It is, I had to scale it down to roughly three inches. And I essentially I'm just going to use tin foil, aluminum foil, and scraps of paper to build up the shapes and I don't know if I will start with any clay today because I wanted to do some baking once it cools down today. But the timeline for this guy, for Mort, my goal is to have him ready for production by the end of September and what I mean by ready for production I don't 100% know but let's just get into it yay okay um so I want to keep him as light as possible I thought I was gonna be able to use this whole little piece but this is already way more material than I need so we're gonna cut this down and I think, so I hate waste. So I am a little bit of a hoarder in that I hate throwing things away that I could put to use later. So I have a bunch of paper that is uh, from packaging that I've gotten from uh, packages. And then I also obviously always save tin foil. This is just about the perfect size for his head small enough that I think I can build on that yeah so I'm gonna use this and then I'm gonna use paper for his body I am probably going to make him a little wider front to back just to support his head a little more kind of like so 
So my mistake with Gimo, uh, the last figure, which is also technically the first figure that I've ever like fully sculpted, um, I had meant for him to be about this size, but I didn't print out any kind of reference size-wise to help me uh, keep him to scale, the scale that I wanted, and so I'm not making that mistake this time. Um, So I printed it out so I can gauge as I'm working the size. Queens. Pretty good so far. probably hear the fan from the living room. It's very warm today. I'm not gonna shut that off, so sorry. Oh, it's already too thick at the neck, so... So I don't exactly remember what brand um, clay this is. This is air dry clay. Um, and this is mostly what I made Gimo out of. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of working with um, epoxy sculpt, which would be good um, for me to work with. Like maybe I will start with air dry clay for this and then epoxy sculpt on top once most of it is flushed out. The epoxy sculpt is way more durable um, because it is made of two components. You got A part and B part and you mix it together and it cures over a time period of four hours. Um, but it's also very, very heavy. Um, and once it's cured, there's no, there's no making any changes to it unless you're like carving away with a dermal, um, whereas air dry clay is much softer and as long as I keep it wet, I can keep working with it. So, um, plus it feels nicer. Oh, and then I... I like working barehanded and epoxy skull, you really should wear gloves because that shit will stick to your hands and you can't really be washing it off because you don't want it like curing 
and attaching to like the inner workings of your pipes is just not not a good idea but like i i i'm so much more comfortable working um without gloves on i should have gotten a cup of water while i do this i think i have enough air dry clay here to at least do a first pass what I'm really actually kind of concerned about is his hat I don't know how I'm going to approach his hat uh, especially the brim of his hat mostly um, so that'll be a learning process but we'll get there when we get there and I think I'm gonna shut up now I guess I could tell you guys a little bit about more first and then I'll shut up but uh, so Mort is the cutest little plague doctor that you'll ever know <laughs> um, and he works really hard at spreading health awareness and telling you to wash your hands and wear your fucking mask and uh, you know to just look out for each other and help one another to you know, get through whatever plague y'all happen to be going through, you know? Not not any specific plague or pandemic, no, just whatever happens to come your way, whatever life happens to throw at you, just remember to wash your hands, wear a mask, and take care of each other. That's all he wants to do. That's all he wants you to know. Um, but I have this little idea in my head that just like wherever he goes, death seems to follow. Um, since more is, I think, the Latin root word for death. Um, <laughs> so no matter how much he just implores people to wear their fucking masks, for some reason, they just still get sick. They refuse to wear it, and then they get sick, and then they die. I'm getting morbid now. I'm going to shut up. <clears throat> I'm going to go listen to some podcasts while I work, or uh, listen to this audiobook uh, called Mexican Gothic that y'all should check out if you like gothic ghost stories. Um, with a little bit of body horror. Um, and... We'll see how far I get. It's already good progress. What do you think? Okay. Only slightly before. This was her greedy, most impulsive self. Nothing will happen to you. Francis assured her, setting down his oil lamp on the table shrouded in white. You don't know that. Not when I'm around. You can't be around all the time. You weren't there when he grabbed me in the bathroom, she said. Francis clenched his jaw almost imperceptibly, shame and anger washing over his features, his face flushing richly. His gallantry was misplaced. He wanted to be her knight and could not. Noemi crossed her arms, tucking her chin down. There must be a weapon. Please, Francis. She insisted. My straight razor, perhaps. I could give you that, if it would make you feel safer. It would. Then you can have it, he said. He sounded genuine. She realized that this was but a small gesture, which did not solve her problems. Ruth had carried a rifle, and that did not save her. If this was truly a death drive, a defect of her psyche now amplified or twisted by the house, then no ordinary weapon could protect her. Yet she appreciated his willingness to help her. Thank you. It's nothing. I hope you don't mind bearded men, since I won't be able to shave if you've got my razor, he said, trying to make a quip, trying to lighten the mood. 
A bit of stubble now and then never hurt anyone, she replied, matching his tone. He smiled, and the smile, like his voice, was genuine. Everything in High Place was gnarled and begrimed, but he'd been able to grow bright and mindful, like an odd plant that is carried onto the wrong flower bed. You truly are my friend, aren't you? She said. She hadn't quite believed it, half expecting a ruse, but she didn't think there was one. You should know the answer by now, he replied, but not unkindly. It's very difficult in this place to discern what's real from what's false. I know. They looked at each other, quiet. Noemi began walking around the room, running her hand atop the shrouded furniture, feeling the decorations carved into the wood beneath. So this is about an hour in. Uh, I took a break for lunch and then I already started up again and realized I wasn't recording so <laughs> um, I, I missed showing a few things. But I started editing in his buttons. Um, a little bit of the detailing here. I'm not too happy about like how I decided to depict his belt but maybe once I've cleaned it up, it'll look nicer. Now I'm trying to work on this here. I was gonna start with the mask, but I don't know. I feel like I need the outline of the face first so that I don't end up putting the mask in a weird place. I don't know, we'll see. This is trial and error. But, um, sorry, 
hear the sniffles now for some reason. Um, but yeah, so right now what I'm doing is I'm building up this little bump here and hopefully I'm gonna work on the what's gonna be a little crease right here. So it's gonna wrap all the way around the face. Um, I think, I mean, I'm probably gonna work on this guy until I use up this little bit of clay here, which is probably just gonna be this piece here. And then I'll call it a day, because I really wanna go take a shower. It's very warm today. And I want a relaxing cold shower. Um, I'm also like not pushing myself to work too hard today because um, I'm not feeling the greatest. I also got some bad news today. Um, so normally, pre-pandemic, I work at a sushi restaurant as a chef or uh, a fryer in the back or a waitress or whatever they fucking need for the day, depending on who wouldn't show up. But um, I had actually just been recently promoted to assistant manager and then the pandemic hit and I we haven't been open since March and I just got the official uh, email today that we won't be reopening we won't be reopening at all um, so that's unfortunate, though I was prepared for the news. Um, I was more than anticipating it. So, I don't know. It makes me really hope that, you know, more it sells well and it, it gives me reason to refocus on my Etsy store, which I have been neglecting. I've been neglecting my own art a lot, actually, this whole pandemic, um, between, between the pandemic and just feeling kind of hopeless about that and the protests and, you know, there's only so many petitions you can sign and so many times you can try to explain to your family why things are happening and why things need to change before you really exhaust yourself and the fight's not over it is far from over um, I've expressed on this channel before that we fully support the BLM movement here um, but yeah just kind of 2020 hit me pretty hard emotionally um, and that the irony of like not being at work this almost this entire year I've been at work I've been at home longer than I worked this year <laughs> um, and that was like something I had constantly 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 hoped for like some excuse where I could just stay home and work on my own things and I got it. The universe gave it to me. Um, I've been home since March and I was very lucky that I was able to set up unemployment um, so I didn't have to worry too much about having an income. Um, was money tight, yes, but I at least was able to pay bills and not have to panic about that. Um, which meant that I could 100% just focus on, you know, my art and my Etsy store. But just the climate and the situation we're in, this shared experience that we're all going through, made it very difficult for me. Yeah. <laughs> Am I sharing too much? I think I've said some of this before though in another video, unless I didn't share it. But uh, yeah, so I feel like I've wasted the last few months trying to keep myself sane 
which I know isn't a waste of time and I should be more forgiving on myself for not getting as much done, but yeah. But anyway, here's hoping that more sells well. Um, I, I mean, this is also a learning experience. I've never made a mold before. This could be a whole disaster. Um, we're gonna be positive. We're gonna take this one day at a time. We're gonna be extra frugal with our spending. We're not gonna panic. <laughs> not gonna panic. Um, and we'll figure it out. But yeah, oh man, I hope I didn't turn this video into a bummer. Um, if you're still watching, thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying just watching me slowly work on this guy. Um, it'll be fun to see him once he's done. I am hoping... I feel like I'm making good progress on him already, so I'm hoping maybe if I just work on him a little bit every day, try to work on him a little bit every day, I'll have him done, like fully sculpted in a couple weeks. Um, and I say a couple weeks because I know the sanding is going to take the most time. I think he's already pretty close to a stage where I want to sand, start sanding. Um, but I'm enjoying working on him so far, he's, this is kind of the only thing that I've tasked myself with today, is to work on more, um, because working with my hands, it does, it's, if you also like crafting things you you probably have the same feeling working with my hands just brings me a lot of peace um, normally my mind's a little kind of all over the place um, maybe not all over the place but like can't sit still <laughs> I can't stop thinking uh, and if I'm focusing on something like a little sculpture or a doll repaint like the face or stitching on something um i don't know it's like the only time that like my brain kind of quiets down so am i rambling again <laughs> you know what he kind of looks like to me so far so far he kind of looks like kenny from south park <laughs> if i puff up the that would maybe be fun. I used to really like South Park. And then I stopped watching. I also, I think I said this already, I don't know how I'm gonna do this hat, because it's gonna be like... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. This button here too. I, I put the whole button, but it's going to get covered up. So I didn't worry too much about making the top part right there look right. We'll see. We'll see. I'm just rambling at this point, so I'm going to shut up again. Um, and keep working for a little bit. And I think once I run out of this clay, that'll be the end of this video. Um, and we will start the next video with me opening up a new package of clay. And hopefully, I really hope it's the same clay as this. Um, I think it is. Because I really like this clay. It's got a really nice texture. It's very soft. Um, and it washes off real easy. Uh, if it's not, then fuck. But we'll get there. 
We'll address that problem when we get to it. No point stressing over it now. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And um, please take care of yourselves. Please wear a mask if you're going out. If you're going to be around family, protect your loved ones, protect yourselves, be kind to each other. That's just going to be my message forever from now on when I wrap up these videos. If I'm ever going to accomplish anything with my art or anything else, I hope I can teach people just to support each other. Anyway, I'm definitely rambling, so <laughs> let's see how much farther we get, and I will see you guys in the next video.